All right, to begin the rubber band car project, um, two things that I wanna do right off the bat is I wanna start working on my tires for my car. And I also wanna paint the body of my car. I do have um, some spray paint here, so I'm gonna decorate my car. Like I said, you don't have to. If you have it available and you want to do that, you may do so. Um, so all I'm gonna need today is a roll of masking tape, which I'm gonna use to tape my tires together, but I'm also going to use that um, to just trace and have a set size wheel um, for front and back. So I'm gonna trace my masking tape roll um, to make my tires. Um, so I need my extra sheets of cardboard in order to trace the tires out. And then I am going to use a combination of my utility blade and then scissors in order to cut my tires. Tire cutting is super important because you need them to be very, very nice and round in order to roll. The more they have jagged edges, um, the more they look like an egg, you're not gonna get very good um, distance out of your car because it's, it's gonna be difficult for it to go. So tires, really, really important that you um, take your time. I'm also gonna be doubling up those tires so that there's a little bit more thickness to them um, and they can get a little bit more traction, okay? Um, so I'm gonna walk through that process of tracing, cutting, and then uh, going outside and painting my box today. So um, follow along if you have the materials at home um, and just have fun with it. Make it your own creation, um, have your own design. Okay, so I am gonna make my back tires a little bit larger than my front tires, okay? So I use the outside of my masking tape roll for the back, and I use the inside part of the masking tape roll for the front. Now it's time to get to cutting. Okay, so I have all my tires cut out um, from the large piece of cardboard into the smaller pieces. That way it's just easier to manage when I'm trying to use my scissors. Um, I will point out that I used an extra piece of cardboard as a cutting board. Um, I'm working at my kitchen table. If you have a workbench or something that you're able to work at, then you know everything might be fine there. But while using the utility blade, I obviously don't wanna ruin my kitchen table or my tablecloth. So um, use an extra piece of cardboard to put your materials on. And then you can see in there all the little cuts that while I made my little tires and, and my big tires and cut them out to a more manageable size, um, I didn't ruin anything in the process, okay? So now we're gonna trim these up and make them perfectly round. All right, now my hand hurts. Um, tires are all cut out. Uh, so the next thing that we wanna do is we are going to pair two together. Okay, we're gonna take two and we're gonna glue those together just so that they are a little bit more thick, a little bit more traction as that rubber band unwinds, it will propel my car forward. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our tires here and we're gonna take just plain white school glue and you're gonna put a whole bunch of glue around this tire. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. And then I'm gonna take my other tire and I'm gonna put those together like so, okay? Now, sometimes when glue gets cardboard wet, it starts to flip a little bit. So to prevent that from happening, I'm gonna take a little bit of masking tape and I wanna kind of use it as a clamp or a brace. So I'm gonna put those two together and I'm gonna put a little piece of masking tape and I'm just gonna wrap that around. And I'm gonna do that on each side here, okay? So that I have a little brace and I have those tires secure, okay? And then what would even be better is if um, something weighted at home um, that you can, to let these dry overnight, if you can set something heavy on top of them 
and allow them to um, dry overnight and then we'll be ready to sand and use them tomorrow. So I'm gonna set up my other tires now. All right, so for this next part, um, I came outside. Um, I don't wanna have to worry about making a mess or fumes in the house or anything like that. So um, I'm just gonna work right here in the grass. Um, I got a black uh, that I'm gonna do my whole shoe box in. And then I found this uh, silver flake, it is called. So I'm hoping it's gonna give it a little bit of a sparkle. Um, so I'm gonna paint my box now. All right, so my box is painted. I think I'm gonna set it in the garage for the night. That way it um, doesn't stink up my house. Um, black with um, a little bit of a sheen to it. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. Um, if you want, you can add any other kind of like stickers, decorations, individual paints, um, uh, words, whatever. Um, sometimes kids would go with a theme. Um, other times it would just be uh, whatever they're interested in. They might make a car that's about football or volleyball or Ohio State or, um, you know, just whatever they're interested in. Um, so decorate it however you want if you have the materials to do that. Okay, uh, we'll pick up here tomorrow. Thanks.